So this episode of my road to 100 million clue scroll tab is going to be a bit different. I'm actually only going to do one thing in this video and that is pickpocketing ham members. For the easy clue scrolls of course. I have no idea how many I'm going to get but I'm going to get a lot of them. There is always the chance of getting the cape of skulls which is worth 22 million but the overall rewards from easy clues is also very good actually. Way better than you could expect. First 10 caskets and also I am going to be picking up all the ham items and store them here in the bank to later on sell them for a decent amount of money hopefully. Now this is very interesting, uh, I think the area has been changed so the easy clue has not actually updated yet. It says you have to climb upstairs and search the drawers but there is no upstairs and if you look at how this area used to look back in the days it looks way different but you can just click on this drawer right here even though it doesn't show this one. I will be building all the easy stashes as well, so I can put them in here, all the items that I need to use for easy clue scrolls in the future, which is going to give me some construction experience as well. So I'm far from done yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a milestone, 50,000 thieving on ham members. So let's see what the loot is so far. These are all the ham items I've collected, which is 500k almost on the tab here, but the other items are worth quite a bit as well in that tab. But I have 64 easy caskets so far. So after 56,000 experience I now built the last easy stash, so all of them are now filled with the clue items that I need. So I actually just did a test of one hour to see how many easy clues I could do in that time and I did 11 easy clues and I didn't uh, do it super efficiently and fast and I was also fairly unlucky on the pickpocket so I would say pickpocketing ham members if you have even higher thieving it could be maybe 15, 16 per hour, pretty good. It looks so good, uh, this is quite a huge milestone, 100 easy caskets, but I'm not done just yet. I was gonna buy more planks to use for future stashes that I wanna build, for mediums and stuff, and I couldn't buy one for 10k, and then I tried to sell one and they actually sell, what the hell. So I'm getting close to being done, I have 100,000 thieving experience now and 126 easy caskets. So now at 125,000 experience I got my last elite that I decided I want to do, which is the number 150. Here we go, time to put the last casket into the bank and the ham robes. 150 easy clues, that looks so good in the uh, bank right there. Let's take them all out, uh, I'm not going to open them just yet. First, uh, look at all the ham items I have, look at this. And also, I'm going to look at the collection log so you guys can see. Uh, let's go to clues and easy. I have obtained none of the items, so let's see how it's uh, going to look after these 150 easy clues. Probably quite a lot. So when I've sold all the ham items I collected over the 125,000 thieving experience on ham members, it should give me 500,000 coins-ish. I might put the logos up for a bit more later. So how I'm going to do this is I'm only going to show you guys when I get something worth a bit or something interesting like unique items or something like that but yeah let's get this started and I'm going to wear my cool gear so I will have some uh, swag points I guess. Let's get opening. I will only show the first 10 all of them and after that I will only show the uniques so uh, nothing too interesting so far. Oh a Samurai page 172 Thousand. The Samurai pages are definitely worth quite a lot and it's probably going to be the reason to why I get most or where I get most of the money from these easy clues unless I get a rare one. I know by the way that you can go to Entrana and get the higher chances of pages but I want to have the chance to get the skull cape so I'm not going, not going to do that. Okay so I got a page again at number 24 with 135 left. 123k. And just two clues after another ancient page. And then after that, at 29, I got a black wizard robe tee, which I actually didn't expect to be worth anything, but it's 183k. Well, technically a unique, but it's worth 6k, so nothing too interesting here. Okay, another trimmed item that is not worth a bunch, but it's 55k, so it's better than the uh, bronze catch shield tee at least. Another page, which is worth 137k, pretty good. And after that... Back to back, 178k, Samurai robe legs. And then after that, a magic amulet T. Okay, that's pretty good for easy clues. 137k, 178 and 77k, back to back to back. 
To get more bag space, I'm going to price check all the uniques I have right now and then I'll put them into the bank and I will keep track of how much money all the uniques were worth that I got. So taking the money out, which I will turn into platinum tokens, I have almost 1.1 mil so far from how many? Like 36 easy clues. Pretty good. Okay, so you can actually get masters from easy clues. I didn't even know that, but the chance has to be really, really low. But that is my first master clue. I'm not going to do it right now because I probably can't do it with my account. So I'm just going to keep it in the bank for the future. Okay, a Bob's blue shirt and iron plate legs T. I don't think the Bob's shirt is actually worth really anything. Oh, 22k. I thought it would actually be worth like 5 GP, but hey, it's worth something actually. Okay, so this is a really good one. Saradomin robe top. I would be really happy if I was an Iron Man now, if I got the, the Saradomi robe top and the Samurai leggings, they are really good for prayer bonus. And back to back uh, item, Iron Kaichil T, 50k. And another pair of Samurai robe legs, those are worth quite a lot, which is really really nice, and you, they don't seem to be too rare. Took a bit longer now to get a unique, but 211k for blue wizard robe G. I have the black wizard robe T now and the blue wizard robe G. Pretty nice. And <laughs> then after that, I get the black wizard robe G, which is worth a lot of money. Wow, I did not expect that. Technically a unique, but only worth 30k, so... Oh! Well, this one is uh, worth a bit more, uh, but not too much more. It's 79k. Okay, second price check. Let's see what this one is worth. Let's take the money out. 1.172 mil like even though you don't always get uniques you get these teleports look at this 73k and 125k was not any uniques it was just these teleports which is really nice money here we have another page it took a while to get another page but here's an armadillo page 2 for 116k the worst unique i've got so far 6k for a black helm age 3 disappointing Okay, okay, two uniques in one, and also I didn't even notice, but I got another steel plate legs T. They look way too similar to the normal steel plate legs, but anyways, uh, bronze full hem G and a black plate body T. Uh, I think the bronze item would probably be worth the most here. Yeah, it is, definitely. And another Saradomin robe top, that's the second one. Another Bob's shirt, and another page, uh, Armadillo page 3 for 122k. Extremely low value item, 7k, but still full MT, that's the first one. Bit of a smaller price check this time, but I have 58 caskets left, so we're getting closer to the end here, but let's see how much this was worth. 573k. Okay, I have no idea what item this is actually. Uh, I've never seen it before, it's worth 100k, so it is definitely worth a bit at least, but it is a Staff of Bob the Cat. I actually want to see how this looks. Let's equip it. Oh, that is good looking. Another page. Ancient page 3 for 179k. Two uniques in one. Actually 366k worth. Second amulet of magic T and uh, iron full hem G. How much is this one worth? 300k. What? That is insane. Back to back. Magic amulet T. What? And uh, started chaps G. Two uniques. Just barely missed it, but I got a black plate skirt T, 4k though only, so. First gothic page. Uh, it's probably not worth anything because I got lumberyard teleports also in the same one and they're worth a lot of money. So I'm going to guess like 10k, 2k. Yeah, pretty much worth nothing. These are worth a lot though, like 13k each maybe? Yeah, 13.9. Okay, so two terrible uniques in one. Black age four shield and uh, bandos page four only worth 6k though wizard skirt g's i have the bottom and the top now but this one is worth considerably less only 40k compared to like 250k for the g top and uh, another page ancient page four 100k we're getting close to the end, only 29 easy caskets left hoping to get a skull cape on these last ones uh, but the third price check incoming at let's take the money out 966k not that bad and we got a decent amount of teleports as well that was worth quite a lot of money to the cash pile another still full hand g okay first black kaichil g at 200k actually a lot of these items are worth way more than i expected 
I don't know why that is, like 200k for that shield, like, I don't know why anyone would buy this, really. Gothic's page, as usual, only like 6k. Second Samurai robe top, wait, no, didn't I only get the legs and I got the Saradomin tops? Yeah, I think this is uh, my first one, pretty sure of that, 282k, really good value. Oh, Wooden Shield G, that is one of the new items. Pretty cool that I got one of those, uh, it's only 74k, but it is nonetheless a pretty cool item, actually. So with 16 left, I get an Iron Full Helm T. Um, okay, Sleeping Cap, it's only worth 15k, so uh, I, I probably just Fashion Scape, it's not worth a lot. Third Bob's shirt, it is green now. Uh, compared to blue, I think, before. So I actually want to open all these 10 and show every single loot. So I'm just going to uh, price check here real quick. A small price check. And then I'll bank the items. Actually, 700k. And it's not bad for only these items. I guess the Samurai Grove top carries quite a lot. But yeah, let's get opening these 10 last caskets. Alright, 10 last caskets. And then we will check the collection log. And I will tell you guys how much money I made from these 150 easy clues. First one, terrible. Second one, terrible. Third one, terrible. Fourth one, terrible. And these are really bad. Can I have uh, at least some good item from this? And if you ask for it, you shall receive ham joint. Two million from an easy clue. Holy, that is insane. Can you wield that? Okay, uh, that is actually really, really good. That might have like, in oh, that increased my value so much from this. Okay, I'm so happy I got one of those items that are worth a lot from Easy Clues. Okay, three more. Let's see if I can get something good from these last three. This one is a unique, but it's not worth anything really. Okay, last one. And then we will check the collection log and how much I made. Samark page, 139k, really good way to end the video, and I'm really happy about this ham joint. Last price check with only a few items, but because of the ham joint, 2.4 million. I don't know, if anyone knows how to fix this, but it's really annoying. It says my bank is worth 12.7 million with all these clue items, and I put this one in, and it gives me like 20k. I have no idea why, and it says it's worth 3.4 million even. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should sell it and put it into platinum tokens. That's probably what I'm going to do because you never know what's going to happen with these items. It could definitely um, drop in price or you never really know, you know. So I'm going to put it in for this and see if it sells. And it does not. But I'm going to keep it here for just a bit. And I will in the future turn it into platinum tokens and just put into the tab. But anyways, here is the overall money that I made from the clue scrolls. If this one would sell for 2.2 million which it might sell for even more than that, so we will see. Uh, I got 5.9 million from all the items, and then if you add the money, I got 7.1 million, which means that from 150 easy clues, you should get 47,000 coins per easy clue, which is actually not that bad. It's uh, probably the same value as medium clues, I would guess. Uh, maybe the ranger boots can skew that a bit, but... Hey, you can always get a skull cape and stuff like that, which is worth close to the same amount as a ranger boot. So yeah, 47k per easy clue is not that bad after all, and hopefully this one will sell. We will see. I'll, I'll get back to you guys when this has sold for whatever price it sells for. So these items could be worth various amounts of money. Like this shield, for example, if I check the GE price, 500k. Now this is a pretty useful item, so definitely it could be worth 500k and the price might be accurate for the tab. But some of these items like the bronze kite shield T or the blue D high chaps G might say a certain value, but it's actually worth less or more. So I have a question. Do you guys want me to sell all the unique items that I get regardless and then put platinum tokens only in the tab and just wait until it's worth 100 million? Or do you want me to just keep the items here and go all the way to 100 million value right here and then when i sell all the items it could be more or it could be less so just let me know on that one okay i just decided to do whatever uh, i just put it in for just below 1 million and it instantly sold so let's see what the value of the ham joint actually is 
1.3 million, which is actually not bad. I mean, 1.3 million from an easy clue is insanely good in my opinion. So let's put these into the tab and it is now 17.1 mil clue tab. That is really, really nice profit from those easy clues. I did not actually expect it to be this good. Okay, so let's end the video with looking at my collection log and <laughs> let's see how many items I now have on my easy treasure trails. Okay, that is uh, quite a lot of unlocks, but it's a lot of unlocks left to gain. So more easy clues maybe in the future. I have gained 34 out of 131. Why does it track black pickaxe? That is such a random thing. Is it because you can only get it from easy clues? I mean, that seems really weird, but maybe it actually is the only way to get them. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. If you did like the video, then remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, then please subscribe. Bye-bye.